Hi everyone, my name is Pat. I'm a district captain for Convention of States here in South Carolina. I'm with Senate in Senate District 18 and House District 87. I have a passion for Convention of States for some personal reasons and I'll tell you about those. First of all, my father is a World War II veteran. He's alive and well and still kicking. And like our younger generation, he did not get to attend his high school graduation ceremony. He was uh, awarded his uh, diploma a quarter early so that he could join and serve in the U.S. Army in the European theater. My former husband graduated from college and was drafted because of the Vietnam War. He decided to enlist and after 23 years of military service, he retired after serving in Desert Storm. My son is an Air Force pilot. Uh, he served with Operation Enduring Freedom in 2002. He also served on the logistical crew that was uh, responsible for the placement and operation of the hospital ship Comfort earlier in the uh, coronavirus pandemic. Okay. On one column of this obelisk on the other side, there's a quote by John Quincy Adams, and he was our sixth president. And I want to read this because I want to make sure I get it right. It is addressed to posterity. You will never know how much it cost my generation to preserve your freedom. I hope you will make good use of it. Our government is drunk with power and will never willingly rel relinquish that power no matter who the president is or no matter what political party is in majority. But we the people can stop it by calling a convention of states and using Article 5 of our Constitution to stop the federal spending spree and debt, to stop the overreach of federal government, and stop the courts from doing things that we don't want them to do. Okay. Congress has no authority to stop such a process. Our founders made sure of that. But we are at a crossroads. One path leads to increasing power and continued irresponsible centralized government that is going to ruin us financially for generations. The other path leads to restoration of our liberties and an American renaissance. And we need your help now. Okay? Reach out to any Convention of States volunteer and I guarantee you will not work with more committed, dedicated, and determined people to regain our liberties. You can visit the website, you can sign the petition, and then you can decide, you can decide um, how you want to help us um, today. So I want to thank you for your time and attention, and I want to end by saying God bless America and COS rocks. Go to conventionofstates.com, press the button, sign the petition. More importantly, get 10 of your friends to do the same. When you sign the petition, then that sends a letter to your state legislator. You go on the list in their district as a supporter. We deliver those lists to the state legislators. It means something to them.